It's time for Penguin Speaks. Hey everybody, Penguin here. Haven't got a video out in a few days. I've been kind of under the weather dealing with a bad sunburn. And it's healing up fairly well now. And I'm going to put a few pictures up right here. Well, this is the left leg. You can see how it has a nice purple hue. And it's very, very, very sore at this point. And this is the right leg. You can see the purple hue there as well, too. And you've got to remember, this is a week out. This is a week after I got the initial sunburn. Here's both legs together just to kind of give a perspective on what they look like together. But they're actually looking better right now than they did in those pictures because, yeah, I've been taking care of them, cleaning them, things like that. I did go to the doctor today, and after he saw the pictures of them and saw what they look like today, he's very, very impressed that they're not infected because they were pretty bad. He did tell me with my health, diabetes and everything, I should have gone to the hospital, but I didn't. I dealt with it, and I went through the pain, put lidocaine, put silvadine, put everything I could on them, and now they're well. So he did give me an antibiotic cream to put on them just to make sure it doesn't get infected, which I will do. I have to go back two weeks to get the results of my lab work that they drew today. Hopefully everything will be fine and my A1C will be lower than it was last time because it was still up around 10, so we want to get that down to around 6, hopefully. Uh, he did put me on insulin. I have to start taking that every night and adjust it based on my morning glucose, so that's what we're going to do and hopefully we'll get this taken care of because it's, I don't want it to get out of hand because that is what caused my stroke. I hope everybody had fun on the 4th, ate a lot, saw some fireworks, set them off yourself. Hopefully everybody made it home safe. I haven't heard of anybody that didn't make it home in my immediate uh, group, so I'm very happy for that because I dread holidays like this because I dread hearing that somebody didn't make it home, and that just devastates me, and I, I don't like to feel that way. So hopefully everybody, everybody made it home and had a good time. We didn't go out and do anything on the 4th because I couldn't walk at that point. Well, I could walk, but it was excruciating pain. And, but we had a good time here, and we did you know, some things here. So it wasn't a, a total loss of a day. Everybody that went got sunburned. Everybody now is peeling. My legs started to blister, which kind of is a good thing because they're getting to that healing spot. And everything else is peeling. My arms are, I don't know if you can see that, but they're peeling fairly well now, too. And hopefully I'll be through this before too long. Let's see, what else are we gonna talk about? The insulin he gave me is not covered by, it was a tier three, so I had to pay $25 for the insulin. And I'm gonna find out, I mean, it's just a long acting, it's Lantus. That's you know the go-to for everybody, but I'm gonna see if there's one that's gonna be less or even free based on my co-pays. Because that, you know, $25 is gonna, it's gonna hurt. There's no doubt about it. But there's enough in a vial that I don't need to get it filled every month if I'm only taking between 5 and 10 units a day. You know, it should last me a while. I hope so anyway. I know that when we go to Warp Tour next year, we'll be more prepared. Gone this year, we, we learned about it. We know what's, what's going on with it and everything. And we will be prepared next year and taking more things and taking less of some things. Because they, it's weird. They searched everybody, every bag going through. But because I went through the handicap gate, they just kind of opened the bag, looked in, and asked what was in there. That was it. I didn't get frisked. I didn't get, I mean, nobody in my party got frisked. Uh, we had backpacks. We had you know, a bag on the back of the wheelchair, but we didn't, we never got subject to all that. So we just kind of went in, went down to the front. When they opened the inner gate, we were right there. As I said in the video that I posted, we were able to get to the back, to the one stage, relatively with ease, uh, other than the terrain. But... It was a good it was a good time. We had a really good time at Warp Tour and I'm looking forward to going next year. Hopefully some of the bands we saw this year will be back next year. I keep saying I'm gonna get a green screen for back here, and I am gonna get it, it's just a matter of when. Unfortunately with all these twenty five dollar drugs here and there and everything, it, it's just really hard to do that when you're on disability. And you know exactly how much you're gonna bring in, but you usually don't have money for the the frivol frivol stroke brain usually don't have money for the things that aren't necessities and we're working on that i'm trying to find something to do to earn more money but i have to be careful because if it's on the books i can't earn more than 300 dollars or it starts deducting from my disability 
And three hundred dollars a month just really isn't a lot when you think about it. So we're working on seeing what I could do, you know, provide a service, sell something, do something to try and bring some money in because it's really it's it's been tough. It hasn't been easy. I won't lie to you. Utilities are less expensive since we moved to Georgia. That's one good thing. But everything else seems like it's more expensive as far as groceries and things like that. And we catch all the deals at Kroger, Food Depot, and things like that. But, you know, these things keep popping up. And $25 here, $10 here, it all adds up. So we're working on doing something, figuring out what I can do to bring in some revenue without getting hurt on my disability. Because other than that, what's the point? If I'm working which I bet it'd be hard to find a job that I can do because I can't sit for a long time, can't stand for a long time, you know, can only use one arm, one hand. But if I could find something that helped out that I made more than what I would make on disability, I would do it, but I just can't find that. And that's just something I'm going to have to keep searching for, I guess. I'm going to end this video. It's kind of a short one, but I just want to let you guys know that I am alive and I am around and I'm in a lot less pain right now, so that's a good thing. So I'm going to leave you with this. This is Penguin. Be somebody important. Be yourself. Peace out.